Hello. I will be trimming this vase today. My dad inspired me to make a Grecian urn. So the lip is strong enough, I presume, to hold the weight of the whole urn. And I will be trimming it. So I technically shouldn't really be using my arms right now because I just came back from the chiropractor and they said a 10 pound weight limit. And I think this is heavier than that. Okay, so it might look like it's getting more wobbly, but it's not because you have to center the top part of it. I don't really know if my face is a part of this video. I don't know if it should be. <laughs> okay. Comment and tell me if it's in the right view. So these are keys to keep this on here. I don't know why they're called keys. I think I'm going to move the camera so that you can see the clay coming off. Because that's where it's the most fun to watch. Thank you, Lonnie Dites, I think that's how you say your name. So my plan is to put handles on the top and make it look like an actual Grecian urn. And I actually have a movie night tonight starting at 7.30. And I kind of don't even want to go. I'd rather just stay here. <laughs> But it's at my house if you want to come. Shameless plug. So this is one of the fun parts, but kind of the scary parts of pottery. It's like, feel how wobbly, well, you can't feel it, but see how wobbly this is? And if I went too fast or like hit, if you look down at this foot pedal down here, if I knock that out of whack, then this thing would go flying. And that's happened to me before. And it just like, is very sad. 
and kind of funny, but you don't want that to happen to your pieces. Okay, since we have so much, we have like a lot of thickness down here. I'm just gonna make it look fancy. These are so fun. You see that? Look how cute that is. So I'm getting to the drier portion of it. I sprayed it with water beforehand. Okay, let's see. I really wish I could get the camera closer. Let's see. Definitely not. Okay. Here we go. Maybe that's better. you guys see this comment and tell me because I can't watch and do it at the same time okay I'm trying to decide what to do I like to do these little notches. We have like a smooth area. So you can see that there's still these little little lines and stuff. I'm gonna make it real smooth by going 
the other way. See? Now it's like marble. One day I'll have my own studio, well, hopefully this summer, and I'll have so much money that I will just have cameras, 360, zooming in and out at all times. But until then, we will use my Chromebook. Another little flower. Let me keep that one. We're feeling some, because when you get too thin, you go through and that's not good. I need my other tool. I don't really know what to do with this. I usually don't make stuff that's so thick, so I don't really have anything that much to trim, which is good, but like, I didn't realize trimming could be so fun. This is really bad for my neck. Okay, let's do the top part. See, this is what I was talking about in my last video. See this right here? That is what you don't want to do. But I could fix it. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. You see that one? I wish my hair was like that. Well, maybe I do. So I'm trying. There we go. I think we're close to getting that. Sometimes I use a sponge just to smooth it out real good. But trying to make it really level right now. That's better. So the only thing I got to do is make this part 
less than this part, but that's kind of hard, I guess. Okay, let's smooth this out. Some more weight I take off of here. Just the lighter it is overall, obviously. I'm trying to decide if I want it to be, these are like pretty equal. This one's a little bit smaller. I'm trying to decide if I want it to be like a gradual thing or if I want them to try to be all equal or just do something totally different. Let's do something totally different. Try not to wreck it though. Did you see that? Look at that. It was actually kind of even. I don't... I think we're going to give it a little bit... I kind of like that. It feels so cool. It's like vibrating right now. See, if you took my pottery class, all those who are watching or will watch, take my class. Come join me. It's not as hard as it looks or it's not as easy as it looks. Whatever you think, you're wrong. <laughs> it's hard and it's easy. And it's fun. Okay, that's like super fun. We're just going to keep that. Um, let's try a little bit of this. I'm going to smooth this out now just so I don't forget later. Oh, we kind of wrecked this here. Let's take a little bit more. There. 
Now this kind of looks like a rocket ship. It's kind of dope. Okay. Um. Let's just do one cute little tear right here. So I'm gonna recenter this because I already am done with the bottom. I'm gonna test it out, see if it's level. Give you guys a look at what it looks like upside down. I mean, right side up. I don't know if I wanna put handles on this. I don't trust myself with comparing to what it looks like now. Whoa, it's like so much lighter, holy mackerel. Okay, I can still take a lot, and it doesn't wobble. Look at that. Okay, I can still take a lot off of the base, so I think we're going to do that. Mm, I don't know. Oh, wow. I really like this. Okay. Yeah, I can just pick this up with one hand now. So we're going to center it for the bottom part. So it's going to be kind of like an optical illusion because the bottom part is centered now, but the top, well, I'm saying it all wrong, but you know what I mean? The top part here is not centered, but the bottom part is. So it's going to look like you're on acid or something. Not speaking from experience. Okay. We're going to have to recenter this. So this wheel likes to just do the phantom wheel thing where it just keeps going around. So that can get irritating. But as long as I can catch it. Okay, this is going to be like never ending. Okay, I just keep pushing it the exact same amount one way and then the other. There we go. Now it's just center. So now I just got to not knock it off center. So if you guys haven't seen the movie Ghost and you like watching my pottery videos, you should watch it. It's a little steamy, but it's definitely a good pottery advocate 
We actually, the main lady and I have the same haircut and she's the potter in the situation. So I didn't really try to do that, but kind of just happened. Has Whoopi Goldberg, Patrick Swayze, and what's the girl's name? Meg, no, it's not Meg Ryan. It's, uh, I don't know where her name is, but she's really great. I don't really know what to do with this part right here. I guess I'm just gonna put another line in it because I can't really make it look like the top at this point because it's too thin. Okay. So now we're going to polish it up. So the key to this polishing is you got to push down. Because if you just push like the opposite direction or whatever like this, it doesn't really polish until you actually push on it. I'm going to get some water. So the problem with carving is that you kind of always have to go back and kind of make it better because it leaves like little pieces everywhere. Unless you want it to look really rustic. Okay.
Okay, I kind of screwed that one up, but no one will notice. Um, All right, I don't really know what's happening up here. It's not wanting to be smooth. I'm gonna go get a rib. Okay, so this is a metal rib, and this will make it smooth, but you got to do that same pressing down thing. And then this is a rubber rib. That really did the trick. Never used a rubber rib in trimming before. Okay. All right. There we have it. Now I get to sign my name. Um, I will take pictures of it afterwards. Actually, let's just, I'm going to get my I will show you what it looks like. So, okay, here we are. Thank you for watching and like my page and take my classes. And if you can't do any of those, just buy my pottery. Go to Etsy, type in Verily's Pottery, one word.